What's up guys, Paul Salmon here. I'm going to show you guys a pretty unusual source of an oil leak on an R44. And this was uh, an R44 that we had uh, just replaced the rear seal. So where's common places that leak on the R44? Well, probably the most common uh, besides people just spilling the oil when, they, when they're when putting oil in the aircraft. That's a very common source of oil all over your engine too. But one of the most, more common uh, sources is the rear crankshaft seal. It's actually the rear of the helicopter. It's actually the front of the engine, but the crankshaft seal on the end, and those about every 500 hours or so, uh, typically start to leak and have to be replaced. And we've done several videos on that. You can uh, reference some of those in the past. But this is an aircraft that we had uh, just replaced the rear seal and it still had a significant amount of oil leaking. And uh, I'll, I'll show you a quick video here and you'll see that the oil is uh, more than just on the rear part of the engine. When the rear seal leaks, or rear crankshaft seal leaks, it usually gets on the uh, muffler, runs down there, gets on the uh, cooling shroud, all over that part of the aircraft. But this was oil that was actually uh, much more towards the front of the engine on the lower part of the uh, uh, engine. And it was clear that there was a, an, a leak that was coming more towards the front of the engine than the rear of the engine. So let's just take a quick look at that and I'll show you. Okay, so pretty clear that that oil was coming from the front of the engine and not just from the back of the engine. And again, we just replaced the rear seal. So the thoughts were that it may be, and again, this is a very, it's the first time I've ever seen it, and it's fairly unusual, but uh, the thoughts were that it was coming from uh, the, uh, where the unit that drives the air conditioner comes out of the crankcase. There's a little uh, metal face seal there that I'll show you here in just a minute. And I thought that that was the problem. So let's take a look and, and uh, we'll show you a few little things here. So back in there, you can see the drive belt that runs the uh, air conditioning units right here. So we've been investigating our uh, 979 Romeo mics had more oil leak than it should. It was probably come in and find oil on the floor. So looking into it and it may be uh, the uh, where the air conditioning drive comes out of the uh, crankcase there. We'll see. Okay, this next little section of video, I'm going to show you that uh, it is really hard to get to the things that you need to get to when you uh, pull this little piece out to check, put the replace the seal on the end of the, uh, uh, the little unit that drives the air conditioner here. There's like almost no area to work in, no room at all. So let's take a quick look at that. Man, there's just no easy way to get to that. And the drive for the air conditioner sits back in here. Got a cap on it with this mirror. You can see it sits right in there. That is really ridiculously hard to get to. Huh. That's where the oil was leaking. Had a fairly significant oil leak. And it turned out to be the seal on the shaft on the, what drives the air conditioner. Okay, well there you have it. That little seal right there was the source of the oil leak. Uh, it's a little metal uh, face seal that gets pressed into place and then you just get to reassemble everything. You know, the mechanics are always uh, an afterthought on designing uh, aircraft and uh, the poor mechanics has like nearly no room at all to work on there. So anyway, if you find out that you've got an oil leak and you replace the rear seal and uh, you know, it's still leaking, that's one thing to consider that it may be the little drive unit for the air conditioner. So in to recap, if you guys remember where are the most common course, uh, most common sources rather of oil leaks for an R44. Uh, number one, somebody spilled it, putting oil into the aircraft. That's a very, very common uh, source of oil all over your engine and dripping off of it. Uh, second thing you need to think about is if you've got a rear crankshaft seal, again, front of the engine, rear of the helicopter, uh, about every 500 hours, those things will leak and they have to be replaced. If you have a, you know, a mechanical fuel pump that uh, has diaphragm that has a leak in it, you can have oil that comes out the little overflow where it tees into the uh, fuel injection unit and that can drip, uh, can drip onto the floor. That can be one source of oil that you need to have your mechanical fuel pump replaced. And then <clears throat> finally, the um, well, one other one is the end of the crankshaft. If you look, we replaced a little cap that fits on the end of the crankshaft. That can uh, produce an oil leak. 
And then finally, uh, what we showed today, the uh, uh, little uh, metal face uh, seal that goes on the end of the unit that drives the air conditioner. So, so that pretty much sums it up. And uh, I hope this was helpful and at least partially informative and entertaining. And if you guys haven't, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.